There's an old saying, if you don't like the weather, give it a few minutes. The underlying concept here is of change. When we look at organisms of a particular area, they are often adapted to the local conditions. For instance, in cold climates, you might find adaptations such as fur or small appendages which reduce heat loss. Some insects have compounds that act as antifreeze. In climates that are weather stressed, cacti have developed adaptations like fluting that help them to take advantage of southern water events. The point of mentioning these adaptations is that they take energy to build and maintain. And according to the allocation principle, organisms can't be perfectly adapted to every situation. The combination of changing environment and the inability to be perfectly adapted means that organisms will oftentimes be in conditions that are suboptimal. When conditions are suboptimal, organisms usually have to expend more energy trying to mediate the situation. For example, in warm-blooded organisms, once the temperature exceeds the thermal neutral zone of which it is adapted, more energy has to be expended to maintain its temperature. So an organism, such as a bat, might burn energy shivering to keep warm. In a cold-blooded insect, like the tiger beetle, it will behaviorally spend time and energy sun-facing, seeking shade, and shuttling between habitats to maintain an optimal temperature. For all of these adaptations, there still is an optimal set of conditions for the organism. The better the match, the higher the organism's fitness, because it will be able to put a larger percentage of resources into reproduction and not into survival. Fitness is the relative contribution of an organism to the next generation. In general, it's easy to see why parents would invest time and resources in their offspring because it increases the probability of the offspring living and contributing to the next generation. But why would an organism like these bees help each other to raise offspring that wasn't their own? <laughs>